Hey there guys, happy Friday and I hope, hope you all had a wonderful week. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys something that I was not hoping to do. Um, what I was hoping to do was show you kind of a predator um, invisible effect where a person would fade into an invisible, um, you know, go invisible and then reappear and whatnot. However, um, Final Cut could not do what I was hoping to, um, it could do, even on the pro version, which is um, kind of the predator effect where you kind of, it looks like almost as if the person was a liquid. Um, if you haven't seen the movie Predator, or I think it was, I think it's even, even in Alien vs. Predator, check that out, or just, you know, search it up on um, YouTube. Um, you need a displacement mat for that, and um, Final Cut Express doesn't have a displacement mat, um, displacement mat nor does it, um, Pro have a displacement mat. They have a displace feature, but that's all complicated, and I struggled with it for three hours today, so... I tried. I apologize to the user who suggested that. Um, I'll be trying more methods over this coming weekend and hopefully I'll be able to um, create it. Um, but instead, I'm going to be doing something very basic, although I think it's definitely very crucial to filmmaking, which is how to import your footage. Now I know, you know it's like you importing your footage, well everyone knows to do that, right? Yes, true, to a certain extent. However, I think um, a lot of people don't understand the method, and if they understood the method better, then they can make their videos um, a better quality, just simply with the video output that they have. So I'm just taking on a little bit of of um, of, of, of of XML, which is importing the movie, um, importing your footage in iMovie, and then importing that into Final Cut Express along with the login transfer, and what both those things mean and the quality compared to, um, between the two. So let's just get started, shall we? Alright, now in Final Cut Express, how you um, oftentimes import your footage from a file or um, something like that, you go up to File, and then Log on Transfer. Now, here's all the um, video shots from my camcorder, and let's use this footage. Um, I'll hit Add Selection to Queue. Now, my camera is an AVC HD camera, and that stands for Advanced Video Coding High Definition. Um, so pretty much um, all the video is encoded onto my camera and then my computer is decoding it and importing it. And um, right now it's, it's importing out full HD, full um, 1080i or 1080p or whichever one it is. Um, and what it's doing is it's taking that file and it's putting it on my external hard drive right here. Um, that's what I have it um, preset to. However, most people probably just have it set to their computer's hard drive. So, you know, here's the clip. We can select it and we can play it. And it looks all good and stuff. Um, if we come over here to iMovie, and then we come um, here, hit the import button, and we take the same clip, and we check it to import it. We can um, select import checked, and we can um, analyze it for stabilization, but that's not for this tutorial. Uh, make sure you're importing out um, the original size too. So I'll just create this new event, whatever, say him, import. And now that clip is going to import, and it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be importing that file somewhere onto um, my external hard drive. Um, so it's not like doing anything with putting it onto iMovie and then importing it into Final Cut. What it's doing is just, it's m more of a link. I'll explain more of it in a, in a second. But now here's the video. Here's the video clip. We can scroll through it. I'll just select some of it and drag that into this new event and I'll just call this event um, demo one shall I so I'll hit create and then I'll come over here to share and say export Final Cut XML now what this is going to do is it's going to um, create the video into a bunch of links um, that will link it to the original footage so I'll just say um, New York City times square. Now what that did is it put it on my desktop right here where it's an XML and if you look at it it just lines a code which is um, a link to the uh, original footage. Now if I come back over here into Final Cut Express and I say file import then XML from iMovie um, and find the XML it was North City Times Square. Hit choose. Now that footage is imported from lines of code. So I can take this um, footage, 
take it and import it. Remember, this is the um, XML from iMovie, and this is the one that I imported um, through Final Cut's um, login transfer. Now, both 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 of these um, footage or both of this um, both of these shots are essentially the same thing. They're just a um, a file that's on my hard drive or external hard drive that is linked in through Final Cut Express. Now the reason why it doesn't import it straight into Final Cut Express um, is because if the files were actually there, um, the program A would be super slow and B it wouldn't be um well it wouldn't be efficient. So it's just not a good idea to import it straight into it. So either um when it comes down to you know the true XML through iMovie versus login transfer in Final Cut Express. All that it really comes down to is the experience of the editor along with um, the editor's preference. Um, for example, I started off in um, iMovie for several years and I didn't like even know how to work Final Cut Express whatsoever, you know, I had it. So um, I just kind of edited it in this and then when I found about um, XMLs, I used that for a while. However, um, XML has a tendency of just having it as one continuous clip. It doesn't um, oftentimes show the. Well, you can make a put a setting so that it shows where the new clips are, but I couldn't quite find out uh, find the way. So I moved on and imported it straight into um, straight through Final Cut. It's not onto Final Cut. It's through. So that's why I'm saying through. Um, well, that was that. I hope you enjoyed this um, Friday, Final Cut Friday tutorial. Um, it's definitely something useful, and I think um, now that you know this, you can definitely go on and make your videos a little bit higher quality. Um, just remember never to um, export and then import again. It's so like export um, an actual QuickTime movie from um, iMovie into Final Cut, because that's going to bring down the quality because you're re encoding the video. So just keep that in mind, and that's all I have to say today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, hope you guys learned something, and I will see you guys not on Monday and not on Wednesday, but on Friday with a full series of color correction videos um, for different emotions, along with how to just make your colors true. Um, very important stuff. So I hope you guys come um, come back and watch that. So on that note, I will see you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. See you then.